This portion of Money Matters Boston is brought to you by Ross Mortgage Company. Welcome back to Money Matters. It's my pleasure to introduce John Carey, Executive VP and Portfolio Manager from Pioneer Investments. Hey, John, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for letting me uh, come on and have a chance to talk to your viewers. No, again, it is our pleasure. I mean, with Pioneer Investments, the way that I see it, and I've been doing this 18 years, um, they've always been a value shop, a very conservative um, money manager, and it's been my pleasure to use your funds. Am I characterizing the, uh, the positions that well? We have had a focus on uh, fundamental research from the very beginning, looking at companies, uh, meeting with the management, studying companies in their context, uh, looking at uh, competitors, customers, suppliers, building up a view of the company and its uh, uh, fundamental nature and investing on a long-term basis in the business prospects rather than playing the market short-term trends. We really do invest in businesses. And you've talked about longevity. I mean, it, it, the Pioneer Fund, is it the third oldest mutual fund in America? It is. In fact, it goes back to 1928, and our founder uh, was with us until the 1990s. Uh, Mr. Philip L. Carre uh, lived to be almost 102, uh, born in 1896, was with us until 1998. The only fund to have a return of over a million percent since inception. Is this true? Well, of course, it helps to have been founded way back in 1928. <laughs> but yes, uh, we uh, have had a, a, a good long-term record, and of course, we work hard to build a record for the future. All right, we talk a lot on this, this show and our radio show about dividend investing. And my question to you is, with this fiscal cliff happening and the thoughts that interest rates are actually, excuse me, tax rates are going to go up, the dividend side of the market, is it still a good place to look for value? I think on a long-term basis, yes. Short-term, there are some issues, I think, with prices, particularly in utilities, some of the other more income-productive sectors of the market that have been driven up a bit in price such that they're a little bit expensive. But I think if you have a long-term outlook, it's still a good time to be looking at dividend-paying stocks. Now, companies might adjust their dividend practices if the tax rates go up. They may emphasize share repurchase, capital spending, merger and acquisitions, more tax efficient ways to return money to shareholders if tax rates go up on dividends after January 1st. John, you've always, you've always spoken, I know this again from my dealings with Pioneer, that you run business, you run money in a tax efficient manner. Can you tell our viewers what exactly that means, maybe how that's going to benefit them? if tax Mageddon of this fiscal cliff does happen? Well, for instance, our long-term uh, point of view inclines us towards uh, holding stocks for more than the one year. Uh, and so when we take gains, they're generally long-term and thus taxed at a lower rate, at least under the current regime. Uh, we also tend to be more buy and hold than uh, some other uh, firms, perhaps, and uh, as a result, again, uh, even the long-term gains can be somewhat uh, modest. But uh, we do emphasize a uh, tax-efficient approach, and uh, yet uh, we want to get a good total return for our clients over a long period. I think a lot of individual investors miss that. You know, they miss that. And you talk about long-term. I mean, long-term, three to five years of Pioneer, for some people, it's three to five days. You know, and that's a, it's a certain culture that I think you have at Pioneer. Am I correct in saying so? Well, yes, and today you have the so-called high-velocity traders, and you have hedge funds, you have all kinds of people with a very short-term time horizon. Now, there can be money made with those strategies, but it's not really our cup of tea, our skill set. Uh, we prefer to invest again in businesses and look at the development of the business over a long period and invest uh, in that way. We've quoted this, you know, this rally, this market rally is the most hated market rally, this, you know, again, this market has ever seen. Would you agree with that? Well, it is odd. Money has continued to flow out of equity funds, out of the stock market, even while the stock market has gone up. Yeah. There have been some very attractive returns for investors over the last several years, but people are very skeptical of the stock market. I think because of the bursting of the internet bubble back in the late 90s, early 2000s, and then the subprime meltdown, and now all of the European uh, currency issues and the debt uh, difficulties, uh, people are a little bit concerned. And yet, if you look at underlying business values and think about long term growth prospects at current valuations, I think stocks offer a lot of potential opportunities. Well, corporate balance sheets, I want to leave you with this. Corporate balance sheets, I mean, corporations are sitting on record levels of cash. Is that correct? They are. What's it going to take? You know, the Fed is doing all that they can, and the EU is doing all that they can. What is it going to take to get these businesses to invest or to actually get that cash into hiring? Most companies plan on a three to five year basis, and they have to know what the underlying rules are going to be, what the tax regime will be, what regulations will be. There's been a little bit of uncertainty due, I think, to some government policies over the last few years. And uh, frankly, I think that uh, 
Key will be uh, introducing some relative certainty in the ground rules, and then businesses will be able to plan longer term with confidence, make investments in new plant and equipment, hire people, uh, and, and uh, run their businesses accordingly. Sounds like you and I can have plenty to talk about. I'd love to have you come back on the show if you could, John. It is by, uh, it's been my pleasure. I know our viewers have benefited quite a bit. Well, thank you very much for having me. Uh, John Carrigan, Executive VP, Portfolio Manager of Pioneer. Stay tuned. There's more Money Matters coming your way.